Hello, uh, my name is Nuno, uh, I'm from Portugal, I'm a volunteer at TDC um, in the south of France. Uh, here we live in an eco community and um, I did a project about insects and I'm here to talk about uh, uh, climate change and uh, a bit of my project. Climate change is real. In 10 years, uh, 2030, global temperatures will reach 1.5 degrees above uh, pre-industrial levels. This means humans and all the species around the world will face unbearable consequences and we are facing an uh, existential threat. Uh, change is easier than people think. First, we begin to change ourselves, then we change the world. First, we must start with our food habits. Why food matters, I will explain you in a bit. The current livestock industry is responsible for 10% of all global CO2 emissions, that is equivalent to say, of all the transport um, sector uh, together. Even uh, worse than that, it's responsible for 37% of all methane emissions, that is a gas with uh, 28 times stronger than CO2. Uh, moreover, livestock represents one third of all the ice-free land uh, in Earth. So we either raise cattle there or we produce um, feed for uh, raising the cattle. Um, last but not least, uh, water use is 8% of our uh, human consumption. And uh, not to say that uh, it's a very polluting activity, uh, contaminating uh, water uh, sources with uh, pollutants like uh, animal manure, antibiotics and pesticides. Unfortunately, this is not our only problem and it is far from ending. In 2050, human population is expected to reach 9.2 billion people and with this, um, the demand for animal products will rise like never before. It is expected to double um, from um, 2001 to 2050 and uh, we, so we need um, to find a solution for preventing the damage effects of the livestock industry around the world. Things get even worse. Due to our current agriculture practices, uh, around 52% of our agricultural lands are degraded um, and this is due to the use, the overuse of um, chemical fertilizers. Um, FAO estimates that in 2030, around two-thirds of our lands in Africa will be lost to desertification. At the same time, right in front of our eyes, one third of all the uh, food produced worldwide is wasted. That is equivalent to say we have three tomatoes, one is wasted, the other two we eat. So we need to find another solution because this carries an unimaginable cost to society, to environment and to economy as a whole. Imagine that if uh, there was a global solution to address these problems. What if there was a way of uh, generating new soil from waste? Or if there was a way to end uh, hunger uh, or to feed human population, an ever increasing human population? Um, or for example, instead of, uh, using, uh, of raising cattle or using uh, arable land to produce uh, agriculture, what if we could give them back to the nature? The answer may be insects. Why? Why insects? First, because insects thrive in decaying organic matter and can concentrate the nutrients present in dilute quantities in a variety of byproducts that are economically a viable option. The bioconversion of a nutritional upcycling of waste biomass with insects, delivering high uh, value products such as protein, chitin, lipids, flas, and who knows, uh, biodiesel. Adding to the fact of using organic waste as food source, so we could use one third of all the food waste to generate more protein, when compared to cattle, insects are far more efficient in feed conversion. Let's take an example. One, to produce one pound of beef, we need 10 pounds of feed. To produce one pound of insects, we need only two pounds of feed. Moreover, only 30% of the cow is protein while 70% of all insects is considered protein. Now let's look at the land use and the water use. We, if you want to produce one pound of beef, we need 1,000 gallons of water and two square meters of uh, feed pasture. By contrast, 
one pound of insects, all you need, one gallon of water and two cubic feet uh, of land. So, this makes in insects a huge opportunity to produce high quality food while using less resources and while damaging much less the environment. Here we start breeding a very special kind of insects, black soldier flies. Why black soldier flies? Because here we, uh, our aim is to produce high quality protein from human leftovers. For example, let's see what is inside this box. Inside this box is uh, leftovers that uh, would other way be waste. And uh, here we have uh, larvae of, uh, of black soldier flies. Where are they? Here. Um, and producing a high quality um, uh, protein that can be fed to our chickens, to our pigs, and we can make even flour from it for, for us. And the most incredible part is that nothing is wasted. As a byproduct, they generate this, which is a fertilizer we have here, a small amount, uh, already mixed with water, and we can use this in our organic uh, garden. So this way, regenerating the soil and uh, helping our plants to grow brighter and better. Fighting this global crisis is something very challenging, but if we as individuals do small steps, as for example, this step, uh, we can actually achieve very good results. So let's change our habits, let's change our perspectives, and uh, maybe, just maybe, I hope so, uh, the world will be a better place.